What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I've got a whole boatload of potatoes here and we're going to be talking today about seed potatoes, what they are, their anatomy, and how to get the most out of your seed potatoes. So these are ones, there's four different varieties here that I got from Urban Farmer Seeds. I think it's ufseeds.com. And so Today, let's talk about them. I'm gonna pick probably this one here to cut into for the example, but I'm doing potatoes in a five gallon jug as well as some other systems this year. And I figured what better way to shoot a video than to talk about the process from start to finish. So this will probably be a multi-part series, but the first one is gonna be seed potatoes. What are they? How do you get the most out of them? How do you cut them up? And what do you do before you put them into the soil? All right, let's get to it. Before we move on to the next section, I just wanted to show you the perfect example of potato anatomy. So you've got the stem scar where it's coming in to the, the tuber right here. And then again, you've got a perfect, you know, here's the stem scar right down here. And then right above it vertically, you know, north to south, south to north, however you want to think about that, it you've got our, our chit or our, our uh, stem coming out. So just, this is a great potato example also kind of a fat potato, of, of how a potato works and, and the way to think about sort of how a seed potato is structured. All right, on to the next section. So we've got our seed potato. This is the one from the example. So let's just double check how many eyes and sprouts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. And you could argue that, you know, these two are kind of gonna be sprouts potentially, but they're not looking too, too developed. So then the question is, how do we cut this up in a way that maximizes the potato? We can see that down here, there's not a lot. Anything below this, this zone to the left, there are no real eyes and putting all of this potato matter into the ground isn't gonna do much for our plants. And actually, in fact, it's going to probably increase the chance that we get some sort of rot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come through and chop off right about here to try and get these three eyes. This one, this one, and this one. So I'm going to come through, taking care not to damage anything, and give this a nice chop. And we can see this is, I was hoping it was this potato. Look at the inside of this potato. Is that not beautiful? This, keep in mind, this is not a sweet potato. This is an actual blue potato. Look at the glossy shine of that. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm honestly in awe. Let's get another look at the cross section right there. Absolutely incredible. So, now that I'm done freaking out, we've got three eyes cut very close to the bottom of where this eye ends. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to lay this in a way that it can dry out. So we'll probably just do something like this. And once I cut up all the rest of the potatoes, of course, I can move that to a different location. And so now we've got one, two, three left. The easiest way to do that is going to come really close to this, this eye here and come through and just make another cut. Boom. And now we've got this one here. We can even shave off a little bit. And if we wanted to, you know what? I'm actually gonna do it. We can come through and make a cut here. So we have one single eye here and we have two eyes right here. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come through and trim off a little bit more here of this potato matter, this potato plant matter. And then over here, we'll come through and we'll cut just a little bit more right there as well. And we're gonna let these dry out because if you don't let them dry out, you're going to have a much higher likelihood of developing rot and that's just no good. So that is how we turned one potato into three separate seed potatoes that we're gonna let scab over, form a tough skin, and then we'll go ahead and plant them in a later video. So we have our little seed potato chunks, and now it's, what do we do next? What's the next part of the process? Well, if we look at these, take a look. See that glossy sheen? That's moisture content in the seed potato. The last thing we wanna do is get a little hasty and take these seed potatoes and just chuck them into the ground and start hilling them up and, and doing that whole process. What's gonna happen if we have fresh, wet uh, plant tissue? 
is we're going to open that up to rot, diseases, pathogens, fungal issues, all sorts of things that basically equal failure for our little seed potato chunks. So we need to store them. And so I'll choose a bottomless container like this, nice ventilation, and I'm going to place them in a way where none of the open wounds are face down. So I, I definitely want these to be exposed to the air so they can scab over, they can dry up, and eventually we'll be able to place them actually into the ground or into our buckets, however we decide to grow these seed potatoes. So that's it for the seed potato part of growing potatoes. I figured, you know, seed potatoes, it's, it's one of those plants that we don't grow from seed, we don't grow from cutting, we don't grow from, you know, some of the more standard methods. And that's why I wanted to do a video. Seed potatoes are kind of weird. Growing potatoes is, could be a very fun, enjoyable process, certainly a calorically dense food, but it is a little weird. It's a little out there as far as how you actually get this going. And you know, there's a lot of room for error when it comes to selecting the right potatoes, choosing the right eyes, cutting in the right manner, drying in the right manner, and then finally planting, not to say anything of the actual growing process of the potato. So we've got our potatoes. I have many more over here that I need to cut up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll leave you guys for now. Until next time, definitely let me know if you like this video, you can do the whole standard like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know what? If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, that's fine. But I would like to know what you'd like to see in the future. More stuff like this, more whiteboard style tutorials. I've done a couple of those. Uh, I'm trying to get content out as much as I can for you guys because I've got my Patreon up now and I'm a little bit more free these days to be able to put more videos up on the channel and I'm trying to like really get the good stuff out to you guys because I know there's a lot of people on here you can watch. I would love to make this channel some of the most informative, entertaining, like interesting gardening information out there because, you know, this can get a little dry, a little boring sometimes, but, you know, how are we going to get millions and millions more people to understand food? Where does their food come from? You know, that's what I'm trying to do. And so the more interesting, more entertaining, more informative I can make these videos for you guys, the better. So please let me know down in the comments. I would very much appreciate it. And I reply to pretty much everyone. So, until next time, I'm going to put on my new Epic Shades that I just got. Green, of course. And I will see you on the next video, guys. Good luck in the garden, and keep on growing.